Okay, to tune in to Live TV. We live. Hey, off the rip. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Join the family if you're new. We going crazy. Go to my second channel, The Supreme Caddy 2. We reacting real life content, shit that going on in the real world. Go to Live Channel. We going crazy. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, we got my boy NBA Youngboy and Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather speaking on his relationship with Youngboy. Now, this is an interesting topic because if you know Youngboy and you know Floyd Mayweather daughter, yeah, yeah. Them two ain't really have too much of the best relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like they got videos with young boy saying she slashed the tires and they were calling the police. You know what I'm saying? It was just a rest video that just went viral where young boy say she broke in and she accidentally stabbed a female. You know what I'm saying? So that'll leave everybody speculating and thinking like, what's his relationship like with, with, with Mayweather? You know what I'm saying? Being a fat Mayweather always online with his grandson, super happy. You know what I'm saying? But he don't never really say nothing about young boy and they gotta communicate because that's his daddy. You know what I'm saying? But he finally broke the ice, spoke out on the We Finna Knock It Out. It was a video that went viral of him talking when he said he finna tell young boy the money. We gonna react to all that, we finna knock it out. Disclaimer, I just made the video, didn't realize the fan was blowing, so it's probably gonna be a one minute stretch where I got the fan blowing when I'm talking. But after that, it go off, back to the video. For those that don't know what an EWV is, that's an extended wheelbase Rolls Royce. I need the leg room. I know I ain't that tall. Some days, 5'9". But it is what it is. Chilling, sitting right here watching the Thriller in Manila, Ali versus Frazier documentary. Come check it out. Up top, every planet. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In a bag, it's crazy. NBA young boy, see all this? It's on its way to you. Let's go. All right, so that was basically the video. My boy said he finna bring young boy a million dollars. He ain't even elaborate on what it was for. It ain't, uh, it ain't broke birthday, so he probably would just give it to him just out of the kindness of his heart, you know what I'm saying? But it still let people thinking like, what the hell that relationship like? Just cause you bring somebody mean dollars don't mean you like it, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what you gotta say, bro. Don't get right to it, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> How do you feel, man, that your grandson is more popular than you are? He a real G, man. Well, that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. The ultimate goal is to always put your loved ones, your family members, in a position to grow. Yeah. And that's what it's about. Me and NBA young boy speak on a regular, we speak on a daily. Very happy for his career, proud of him. And eventually he's gonna grow like anybody that's young. When I was young, I visualized and seen things cert a, a certain way. But as you get older, you look at things totally different. I gotta ask him what NBA young Okay, so look, I'm gonna let him finish talking, but basically what Floyd's saying is, I kind of like the way Floyd worded that, because you know Floyd a little bit more wise, he a little bit more mature, you know what I'm saying, than young boy, and that ain't a disrespectful thing, he just been here a little bit more longer, you know what I'm saying, so he kind of got a better way of looking at life than the younger person would that haven't really been through as much, you know what I'm saying, so basically to kind of elaborate on what he just said, I like the way he did that because he said, right now, the answer everybody won't, you know, they kind of wonder, you know, are you beefing with young boy? Do y'all have these type of hostile relationship? You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, young boy seem to get into it with everybody. Floyd looking at him like, right now he young, bro. He need room to grow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my fault that fan was making noise throughout the video. I just realized it was on. But uh, once he get older, he gonna look back at how he used to act when he was young and realize he was more young. He was more immature. You know what I'm saying? Now he older. He got a more level level. You he more level headed. You know what I'm saying? He got a better way of looking at life. Like he actually think before he speak. Now when you young, sometimes you just hot headed and you just ain't going for it. You get what I'm saying? Floyd used to think like that. You go watch Floyd all interviews. Floyd was you know what I'm saying? But as he got older, he got more wise and mature. He was actually able to sit back and realize it ain't even worth it. That's basically what he's saying is, young boy right now he at that point where he young. I've been there. I'm able to look at him and. Look over that. You know what I'm saying? Well, it ain't always got to be confrontation. I visualize and see things cert a, a certain way, but as you get older, you look at things totally different. I got to ask him, with NBA young boy. Yes. You talk daily. Yes. Are you impacting him? Like, with, with knowing that, like saying, your baby, your grand, your, your grandson, who yes. I done, we done all played with at the yes. crib. You know what I'm saying? Yes. How is that dynamic? because you're so much older and you've been so successful and he's successful as well but that's the thing that people want to know like what what is, what is y'all relationship like what's the dynamic between you and him we talk about investments yeah and uh, just well, all. buying land and what's crazy is out here in the world today a lot of times even like um 
even like P. Diddy. Um, I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy because um, he's still a black man. He, he, I mean, um, mistakes happen. And I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake, but things happen in life. And P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the Internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Uh, yeah, I respect my, that. But we ain't been talking about P. Diddy. P. Diddy got his own thing going on. You know what I'm saying? He a black man at the end of the day. But he he still did some. He did some. It don't matter his skin color, bro. It could have been blue, green, purple, orange. It's weird, fool. And we ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna speak on him and leave it alone. But at the end of the day, that shit don't matter. You feel me? But I'm gonna I'm keep it a honey, bro. I respect the way uh, Mayweather, you know, treat the situation because, you know, like I said in my last young boy reaction video, bro. Right now, we all know young boy got his own way of moving. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta understand, we all men, bro. Like, God made us all the same way. You know what I'm saying? Now, we all got our own characteristics and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is, we all got testicles with test testosterone in them. You know what I'm saying? We all got that little ego feeling. We all feel like we alphas. Some of y'all been destroyed by little Nas X, but we ain't gonna talk about that. You know what I'm saying? But we all feel like we alphas. We all walk around and got that, you know what I'm saying, that territorial feeling about us. So... No man, gonna, no man gonna change who they is because this man feel this type of way. You get what I'm saying? It's on, your family's supposed to love you unconditionally and accept your flaws. In the, real, in the real world, we may not understand that. Imagine if a person walk up to you and they got a, they, you know, they kind of off in the head and they tell you something crazy in line. You're gonna look at him like, is you good, bro? Like, what the f You don't see my wife and my kid, bro? Like, oh, I'm a grown ass. You're not gonna wanna hear it. You get what I'm saying? Because he, he, right now he's disrespecting your man. You're not thinking of him, looking at him thinking maybe he think a certain type of way. You get what I'm saying? So I like the way May Mayweather just, you know what I'm saying, spoke on the situation. He basically saying, like, he got time to give him time to grow, bro. Right now he's young. Once you get older and you realize there's more to life than that young, you know what I'm saying? You're not even gonna take it serious. You feel me? You, you, right now, young boy is an adolescent to Mayweather. You feel me? Mayweather OG, he been there, bro. You feel me? I seen Mayweather going back and forth with his pops. Go, go search it up. They, I'm talking about a heated argument. You feel me? But Mayweather probably old enough now to look back and say, I was wrong in that situation. You feel me? And maybe he's maybe he still haven't reached that level in life. Maybe he still may look back at that situation and feel like, hey man, it is what it is. I felt how I feel. He still got some maturing to do. You know what I'm saying? Even me, I got maturing to do, bro. Somebody cut me off on the road, I'm trying to race you. And I want to get out and fight. You know what I'm saying? Later on in life, I'm gonna look back and be like, bro, that little 10 seconds wasn't even worth it. You get what I'm saying? So I like the way he, I like how he went at this situation, bro. You feel me? Anyway, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know if y'all feel like Floyd handled that like a cool dude. He ain't even say much. That's how you supposed to do it. You feel me? And uh, yeah, we finna go crazy, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Got a red boy some other videos, so they got stop videos. Get it, man.